for the stream right there. Um, let's test the connection. Okay, all good. So, welcome everybody to what I'm calling the one of each challenge. Uh, it'll be easy if I explain the challenge once I get the pip boy, but basically what this entails is I'm only allowed to have <clears throat> I'm only allowed to have one type of item as a weapon, one type of item as apparel, one type of item as aid, one type of item as miscellaneous, one type of item as junk, one type of item under the mods section and one type of item under ammo. So for the weapon, I'm only allowed to have the spray and pray in that slot. Um, for the apparel, I'm only allowed to have the hazmat suit. Um, for the aid, I'm only allowed to have purified water. For miscellaneous, I'm only allowed to have bottle caps because bottle caps um, in the game code are uh, like it, it, it's a miscellaneous item. Um, junk, I can only have pre-war money. Mods, doesn't really matter because you know the only way you can have a mod in your inventory is if you scrap it off of some other weapon so that doesn't actually really matter. Um, and ammo is obviously 45 bullets for the spray prey. Now, <clears throat> for these items, I am permitted to have multiples of them. So I can have one or 1,000 hazmat suits, one or 1,000 purified water, one or 1,000 bottle caps, one or 1,000 pre-war money, and one or 1,045 caliber bullets. Obviously, there's only one spray and pray, so I can only have one of those, but still. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's about it. Uh, so let's cycle through the faces. We have this guy. Okay, I'm thinking let's build a face based off of this one. Okay, let's go oh yeah, let's go big here. Uh, let's keep it in there. Ah, oh, there we go. There's the facial hair. Um, do we want him to have a full beard or a small beard? Let's go full beard. Beard or no beard? Um. But let's, oh, no, that, that's his skin. Let's go hair color. And let's make it hey. really, really hey, white. Um, let's go full bushy. Okay, now we'll sculpt his face. Uh, let's do the eyes. Let's do that. Let's make them look quite big. Uh, okay. The eyes. They're one of my favorite things about you. Okay, let's do the eye color. That, that actually matches his hair, actually. All right. Let's 
pull his nose right. out a bit. You think my nose is too big? Pull that in. Pull that in. Um, let's shrink the lip a bit. Mm, I do love those lips. Okay. And I think... Yeah, let, let's just do the extras. Do you want to have moles? I clean up. No, oh, let's just nice. leave it at that. Um, could go around giving them splotches, but let's remove that. Yeah, let's give him one scar on the forehead and remove all the others. You look as good as the day we met. Okay. Easy. Does my build take solar powered? I don't think it does. Oh. Thanks, Kazuwa. <clears throat> yeah, so to give a quick overview of my build, I take five perception for demo expert, I take ten endurance for extra health and for perks like cannibal, which my character kind of has to has to do. <clears throat> three charisma. Um, three charisma for Lone Wanderer. Six agility for Action Boy. And two luck for Scrounger. Uh, and, and my and this character takes per, the perks: Cap Collector, Cannibal, Aqua Boy, Life Giver, Scrounger. Lone Wanderer, Demo Expert, Commando, Sneak, Action Boy, um, and then really late in the run, also, I think, Moving Target. Yes. Can you get that? It's probably the Good morning, Voltec calling. Good morning. Isn't it? You can't begin. Mm -hmm. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me? Now I, I'm here today. Sounds great. Oh, I... Okay. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. <sighs> Hold on.
Okay, and I'm back. Just had to go and answer the phone. Uh, but it's all good. So let's start off with our stats here. Perception to 5, endurance to 10, charisma 3, 6, 2. Okay. 1, 5, 10, 3, 1, 6, 2. 1, 5, 10, 3, 1, 6, 2. All right. As for the name, what are we going to call this guy? Um, let's call him just QWERTY <laughs> because I can't think of a better name than, than QWERTY Wonderful! That's everything. Uh, Dave, <clears throat> I'm gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Uh, you too! Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sir, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. Okay. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Spin, spin, spin. <clears throat> okay, so when I was doing. Listen, after breakfast. Sounds fun. Yeah, sounds like. Sir, mum, you should come and see this. Codsworth. What... Yeah. So. Um, when I was originally designing this challenge, or no, not, not designing, but when I was thinking about this challenge the other day, I was thinking yes, about, by flashes, blinding flashes, um, sounds of explosions. We're, uh, trying to get I was thinking about, like, having the one of each challenge extending to the perks, That's, um, so, like, Actually, let's, let's turn down the audio a bit. Okay, yeah. So I was considering um, having, like having one perk of each special point. Okay. Uh, like only having one perk in strength, one perk in perception, one perk in endurance, and so on. But when I designed a build under that constraint for this challenge, it ended up. We need to get in. We're on the list. Okay. Yeah, they definitely fixed this. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? Everything. Step on the platform in the center. Okay, let's do this. Look away from the explosion. Almost there. We're going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god. There goes the boom. Hold on. Dramatic. Yeah, so when I designed a build that had only one perk for each um, special point, <clears throat> um, there were a lot of levels. We did it. We made it. We're okay. 
Yes, you are. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. Um, also, we, we get a uh, vault, vault suit over here, but as soon as we can, I'm going to drop it. Um, yeah, so, you know, in the build that I designed with only one perk for every special, about half to two thirds of the levels that I had, um, there wasn't any perks to go into. And also the perk for intelligence was just about useless for this character. Okay. Oh, and I also have to drop the wedding ring. Yay! Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Yay! Normal. Okay, so... Well, that sucks, but... Yeah, um... Another thing to point out is that even though... The one weapon that I've assigned myself for the challenge is the Spray and Pray... Um... I'm also allowed to attack... If I don't have any weapons in there... And I can also de-equip the weapon and attack. So, in other words, I'm allowed to have... Um... Like, I'm allowed to punch, basically. Um, and also, stuff like... So, the way that the item rules work is... It, it's, it's just about items in my inventory. So, I'm also allowed to scrap settlements, build beds, build water pumps, all that stuff. Uh, in, in fact, it'll be quite important to build uh, massive water pumping stations at Sanctuary to, to, to acquire a lot of water. And that's because the only junk item we can pick up is pre-war money. So, it doesn't make all that much sense <coughs> Okay And he falls out And we are ready to go Okay. Right. Um, so all this stuff, you know, we, we can't pick up. Let's see if I can actually remove my apparel from this. I can. Okay. So now I should have absolutely nothing for the time being. Um, also, an exception to the rules, uh, an, an exception to these rules is, um, I see, pre-war money. First of the items that we can pick up. Uh, okay. Yeah, so there's two exceptions 
to the, to the item rules. Roaches? What the hell? Yes, what in the hell? Um, yeah, so there's two exceptions. The first of which is is um, quest items. So for the purpose of the challenge, I'm defining a quest item as any item needed to complete a quest in any capacity. So you know when it, when it's time to um, build the single interceptor, right? Then I can just ooh five pre war money. <clears throat> yeah, so when, when it's time to do that, I can just um, that's red X, which you can't use, and nothing else in there. Okay. Yeah, so when 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 I have to build the um, signal interceptor, I have you know I I can just buy one or pick one out of a robot, and that's fine because because it's considered a, as per the definition for the challenge goes, it's considered a quest item, even even though. As far as the game is concerned, it isn't. All right, we have a broken limb already, but that'll be fine. Let's drink, I guess. I mean, like, at least let's have some extra health. That'll do. Um, and the other exception is keys and passwords, right? And, and that's just because there we go. I don't think there's anything else here to pick up. Uh, so just to show off once again, all I have at the moment is pre-war money. Oh yeah, so since keys and passwords can't be dropped, and oh yeah, and also have like adrenaline. But yeah, so nothing in the weapons so far: apparel, aid, misc, junk, and mods and ammo. So yeah, it's it's these slots here where I can where I can only have one type of item. Um, now I was also considering over we can just jump across and we are good so yep we have all good one five ten one five ten three one six three one six two uh, my appearance is good so let's leave Yeah, so keys and passwords we can't drop. But one consequence of these rules 
is I can't pick up magazines, I can't pick up the special book, and I can't pick up uh, bobbleheads. So if I want to increase some stats, I can only do so by putting a perk point into it. In fact, none of, none of the items I have like available to me would give me... Yes, yeah, so there's stim packs. Uh, Radex. Molotov, sort of Radex and gas canister. There's... I think there's caps over here. There's like a... Okay, j just one. All right, let's run down. Let's do that. So we get over here. What are your clothes worth? Okay, a better place. Sir, it's been eight. Sean's been kidnapped. Sean's been kidnapped. I feel fine. That means you sure. Are you okay? You're acting... There we go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Get... Stay with me. So let's go in here and drop that. All right. So he goes over there. I'll go this way and kill these red roaches. There, there's only four, and most of them are on their own, so we'll be absolutely fine. There you go. Um, more consequences of the item rules is that I can't unlock anything. I also can't deactivate traps like this. I, I can scrap that safe and get the stuff out of it, but I can't... Um, like I can't deactivate the trap or pick the lock. So we got a level up. Okay. If I only had a bobby pin. Some pre war money. Okay, so we leveled up, but we haven't healed our limb. Um And as another thing, just like, <clears throat> just like what, um, just like how weirdest builds handled, yeah, just like how he handled quest items. Um, for this challenge, we can also pick up quest items before we get the quest. Um, so that means, okay, I don't think any of these are going to have purified water in them. Uh, Cotsworth will be over there, but we don't have to talk to him. Um, let's look in this. Okay. All right. I'm actually going to drop my pre-war money.
there so so that it doesn't get scrapped when I build the other build the beds. Furniture beds, let's do this one. That's still in plastic. So there we go, there's one that we can build. Um, and then we need like extra Yeah, extra, extra cloth to build the other beds. Uh, that's some cloth right there. That's good. So we want, for the sanctuary quest later, we want to build... Actually, I'm not, I'm not going to worry about that until... Like, I, 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 so for one, we never take local leader, so I'm not, I won't be build, building supply lines. Um, but for another, um, yeah, so. Yeah, and the reason why I got enough cloth there was because of the pre-war money in that in that safe. Um, got more caps. You can't use those bullets. All right. Yeah, so with the sanctuary quest, if I'm not building supply lines and I can't have items in my inventory, then, okay, we can't use any of those. Then the main, the main way in which I could like you know the main way in which I could get items into the um scrap that too there's a few more safes lying about there's one in that and one of the other houses. Let's see. So we can scrap the safe. Good. And then let's head over into this house. Scrap this safe. You also want to be as far away as possible, but here we go. Okay. Dog tags, we don't need that. Um, I think this house over here, or one of these houses has a, has another cap stash, but I don't need to worry about that. Um, the, uh, ah, our first purified water. And not our last. Right, so I'm gonna rip out all of this stuff. Okay, just the greasy jacket and jeans from that thing there. 
Blood pack, red X, stim pack. Okay. We have 50 war, 54 pre war money. We'll combine those. Drop them again. Because now we got to build the water pumps. So if. No, it's under resources. Water. Yeah, so we we will never be able to build this thing because we never take science. So this is the best that we can do. Um, this requires two. Like two power. Um, there's probably a decent amount of copper in the settlement. Actually, no, I don't. I don't uh, hmm. Oh, I, I know where there's copper. I know where there's copper in these things. Yeah, lots of copper. All right. So I'll go around, I'll scrap those things. Uh, I also know where there's plenty of ceramic. But what, what I'll, yeah, so this thing also needs cloth. Presumably as the filtration system. Okay, and the last light pole is over here. All right, now the ceramic is items like the sink. There's this sink, that thing. Okay, what else? Like every house will have some ceramic, but also stuff like this ashtray will have more ceramic in it for us. Here's some oil. There's even more ceramic in this and this and this. So we're basically looking inside every toilet, I guess. Every toilet, every other thing. Okay, nothing in there. Got some oil. Um, oh, it was over here. But nothing we can scrap in this in this place. Lovely. Uh, oh, that has copper in it as well. So let's build two of these. And then we'll go through and build a generator to power it. Actually, if, if we build two medium generators, yeah, so I'll plonk this over there and over there. Power. Generators. Medium. Okay, yeah, so we need gears as well for, for those. But we, we actually have enough, like heaps of items to make it, to, to make the stuff. Uh, there's a gear in this. Oh, there's two of them actually. But there's not many gears in the settlements. And we probably want to save one. Okay, I'll plonk it over there and over there for those two. Yeah, so there's not a whole lot of gears here. Oh, okay. Um... That's wood. Oh, that also has a lot of goodies in it as well. 
Oh. Okay, yeah, okay, we, we can build the other one. Lovely. So we'll build this. Then we'll build a regular water pump. You know, for us to drink at. It also doesn't matter so much if they're floating a bit. Okay, so that's that. Resources, water. We'll build a water pump out of this concrete. Just put it there, I guess. And then we can build another one of these. What we're missing is cloth to build the other. But that's okay, we can do that. So two more cloth. There we go, okay. Actually, we want to build three. Yeah, three of these, which means two more oil. So we have enough cloth, we have enough for everything else. We want one more ceramic and two more oil. Okay. And that's because three plus two would give me the five. Okay, no, that's not. That's not the thing. There's the ceramic. So we have more than enough ceramic there. Now we've got to find some oil. And oh, there's one. So we need one more. One more oil. Where would we find the one more oil? Hmm. Where would we find the one more oil? Ah, there we go. All right, so, so now we have um, the ability to build all up five of these. This will give us 50 water production. Um, and we are going to need that water. Okay, and one more. We'll connect you to that. And connect you to you. Okay. And just to verify, all we have in our inventory is this purified water, which is one of the stuff we can carry. And this blowfly gland, which is a quest item. I don't think I've got any secret pre war money. Okay. The first perk we take as well is Cap Collector because we're about to need, you know, once I sleep, we're going to be going to Red Rocket. Then to Concord to, you know, finish the out of time quest. So now our arm has been healed. We are also peckish. Now, since we since the only aid item I can use is the um, is purified water, 
that means that okay nothing there probably nothing that either did I pick up the pre-war money yes okay So, I, oh, let's turn off the radio. Uh, nothing in here, I don't think. So, we got that. Nothing in there we can use. Oh, even more pre-war money. Lovely. Caps. And that's it for this onwards, unless unless there happens to be pre, uh, purified water inside this thing over here. There is not. Okay. Now. As another thing, yeah, nothing in there I can take. As another thing, I think I'll... I also can't unlock the safe. Um, so any, any safes out, out in the world, any locked doors, anything like that, we're just not going to be able to get into. Uh, but we also want to be hidden here. Okay. I don't think there's any items in the speakeasy. You know, that we can take. Like, I don't think there's any purified water or any pre-war money in there. I'll let Preston take care of that. I'll look through here and see if I can find any goodies. Uh, yeah, so antibiotics is another item we can't use. Um, since we can use bottle caps, that means that we can go to vendors and stuff, which is the whole reason behind getting cap collector. And it also means that if we get sick, we can remove remove the sickness at a doctor. Okay, you the only one there. And you know, I think if I sneak up on him, I can do a full bats round. Yes, that's enough. And there we go. Our first, well, human kill. Just running up behind a raider and punching him in the back. We have caps over here. Now, technically speaking, I could do this quest, you know, as I am right now. Um, going through the Museum of Freedom with fists only isn't that bad. However, um, going, you know. Okay, he hasn't been hit yet. Get him, Preston. Can you get him? Hey, up here, on the 
Nah. Okay. So now we are at level three. And here we take Cannibal, which is kind of important. We'll just eat this guy. Okay. Now I don't think anybody here will have items that we can use. Unless one of them randomly has a um... It randomly has a 45 pistol or something. Uh, let's go into here. Yeah, 45 rounds we can take. Um, uh, actually, I should probably save as well. Yeah. So I'll go here, over here, I'll save and then I'll head down and do all the buying and selling stuff. What's over there? Dreth. Okay. We have another cap stash. Can't go into that. Yeah, I'll, so, so yeah, we'll just save here. Drop an hour. Alright, so there's basically two things that we want to buy, and that's purified water and 45 caliber bullets. Um, so, uh, the purified water... Okay, we have 50 caps. Yeah, the, the purified water is basically... I chose that because it, it heals without giving any n negative status effects. Um, okay, I don't think anybody else is over here. Hello. So what's your story? Look in the trade? Rob? Just looking for love. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, Watson. Sure. sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, keep it. Uh -huh. Okay. Weapon, apparel, aid. So she might have some purified water? Yeah, she's, she's got three. So that's misc. Chunk ammo. She's got 81 of these. I'll give her all of these. So I, the amount of 45 that I can buy is... Um, basically... Hang on, what's the amount? 153 plus 87... That's 240 divided by 5, 48. Um, let's also put out there. Um, now, the purified water is the only for this challenge is going to be the only hot keyed item. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison killing everything. Oh shit. And suddenly dogs. Just chewing on my bits.
Is that all of them? Did you get them all? They got them all. All right. Now we have low charisma, so we might not pass this check. Okay. I thought I told you this ain't any of your concern. I'll help you. Like you got some trouble. Help. I'll talk to her. Appreciate it. Uh huh. Yeah, so I'll talk to him and I'll give her the speech check. Hi. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. And peacefully. Alright, so it's all on you now. Get up, Patrick. And get him. <clears throat> so there's Wolfgang. I thought they killed uh, Simone, but... And there we go! Let's take it right away. Got 50 caps. 45 bullets, that's lovely. Um, I actually take Scrounger fairly early, so... What I think I'll do beyond this, right, because perhaps it wasn't a good idea to sell, I mean, to, to buy all those bullets. And I can't seem to find where they killed Simone. Yeah, Simone. Yeah, Simone. Okay. Yeah, I've got no idea where Simone is. Okay, let me through, Patrick. Yes, you keep on walking. <clears throat> I can't wait to see the crows feeding on that scum. Uh -huh. There we go. Are we going to level up from this? We well, are. Yeah, okay. Level 4 is Aqua Boy. That's under endurance. So now what we gotta do is make it back to Sanctuary and do a full save to heal our limbs and um, heal everything else. Also, it doesn't help that our vision is all wobbly. And I, I guess having... Um, what the heck? That's just a ball. Yeah, I, I guess that's just, just, just a ball. Right, so, I'm heading all the way over here to save, then, then I'm going to check Sanctuary for the Purified Water. In fact, I'm basically going to move the cooking pot 
as close as I can to the edge of the settlement so that I can don't have to run as far every time I go back there. Um, all right, I don't, I don't have a bed here. Okay. Actually, let's see if I can just build the bed anyway. We can, okay. Let's do, yeah, let, let, let's do a full, a full save because that, I think you have to be well rested for it to heal your limbs. So now we're parched. Um, si since we're also quite close to a settlement, we may as well, um, actually let's, while we're here, let's build a water pump here as well. Okay, so there's the concrete. I think all we have left to build is the, oh, the steel and the gear. Oh, right, there's the gear in that. Okay. Just plonk it right there. So the more we satisfy our thirst on the water pumps, the less purified water we'll need. Uh, I'll, I'll just head back over here, move the thing and then head back. So we can actually access the workshop inventory from this. We still don't have any purified, uh, purified water here, but I'll move the cooking station along a bit. Okay. There we go. This will also give the people enough room to run past. So we can go in here, go to the aid and check for purified water. Um, now from here, we could also do the, you know, the pull the plug quest. But the, it will be a lot better to do that if we have the spray and pray. So, what we should actually work on as soon as possible, because right now we have 150 caps. So I don't know where I got the other 50 from. Um, I'll drop, no, I'll go to Concord and drop an hour there. Because yeah, it's a little, a little bit closer. Um, but we want to get the spray and pray as soon as possible because even though with what we have right now you know we could get through the game quite easily without not, not quite easily it'd be a struggle but it could be done we, we could get through the game with just this rule set and all the items we have so far Technically, because we could just like sneak and punch and whatnot. We we need a different build for that, but it, it's doable. Um, so this is the bed that we'll uh, save in, and then the place we want to go is Diamond City. Okay, I better, actually, actually that, that guy will stay there. If a corpse is pre-placed by the game, it tends to last for a while, but these guys over here aren't gonna last very long. So do we have a guy over here? We do.
Oh, okay. All right. So we want to now head straight for Diamond City because there's a most of the quests, quests even in Diamond City we can do, you know, without even killing anything. However, the you know the quest that Mo gives us we can't do because. One of, one of the items that he asks, hey Xbox Gamer, welcome to the stream. So we're doing a challenge here in which my character can only have one type of item in each of these slots here. Um, so only the spray and pray here, hazmat suit here, purified water here, um, bowl caps, which are technically miscellaneous, but don't actually appear as an item. Um, this bloke flag land is a quest item. Um, it's pre-war money that we are only allowed here. This is, I think, and 45 caliber bullets for the ammo. So yeah, well, welcome back. Uh, we're, we're, so now we're going to, we're going to Diamond City because there, there's a lot of quests that we, that we can do. Although come to think of it, we could also do the first two quests for Paladin Dance. Um, okay, nothing there we can use. Yeah, so the first quest there is fire support where we just, where you're supposed to kill the ghouls for him, but we can just stand there and wait for him to dawdle for us. The second quest is call to arms where we just follow him to ArcJet Systems and have him do that. You do all the combat there. And this also gives us a stopping off point before going off to Diamond City. Uh, fusion cells, nope. Okay, nothing there. And so another thing is, if and when we get quest rewards that give us anything other than caps, oh, somebody stepped on, on a landmine. Yeah, so if, we, if and when we get those types of quest rewards, um, all I'll do is I'll drop them immediately. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even going to... Yeah, I'm not even going to sell quest rewards or do anything else with them. Come on, Dance, you can do it. Although may maybe the actual waves only start if we get assist the soldiers as a quest marker. But the strategy here is just to wait for dance. Right, because there's... Because we're basically too weak to take on all of these ghouls on, out on our own. Another ghoul down. Oh shit. 
Oh, they're gonna follow me. Run away! Okay, let's go over to here. And see if they're still following. They are not following. Okay, that, that's good. So, if there's a bunch of individual ghouls, right, then we might just be able to take um, the ghouls on one-on-one. -on -one. But if there's a swarm of, the, of them, we basically can't do that. So we'll just wait over here. We could actually stand up on that ledge over th th there. Somewhere over there. Oh shit. Oh, we're gonna run. Run away! Okay. Wait, did that ghoul just die? On its own? It did! It just died. Okay, well. Maybe this quest has some sort of timer attached where any ghouls just randomly get themselves killed. Uh, so the bottle caps we can pick up. Uh, that's... Any of them have pre-war money, we can pick those up as well. Bottle cap. Bottle cap. Okay, let's check this. Nothing there for us. Let's check Fusion Cells 38. More 38. Uh, oh, this is the way. Bottle caps. Nothing there. 10, 38. Nothing there. Okay. Hello, Dance. Excuse me. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. What's the matter? I'm just trying to survive out here. I didn't charge in. Okay, Vault 111. Okay. Very well. I'm Paladin. Over there, we're on recon. I've been trying. Sir. Proceed, Haley. I've modified the what we need. Our target is we infiltrate. What do you say? Yes. Get moving. Outstanding. Okay, so this is the quest complete. Any moment now. Oh, I guess he does his dialogue first. Uh, let's double check. Ah, oh, yeah. There was this guy over here without. Well, I guess we definitely looted everything from here. So that may or may not be another level that we have. Uh, probably not. Actually, no. Okay, no. Um, we can't do anything with that. 
So here we're just going to be looking through, yeah, nothing there, just looking through all of these containers and stuff for items that we are allowed to use. Um, so we're looking for pre-war money, well primarily pre-war money, 45 bullets and, um, and, and caps and purified water. Nothing over there. Actually there might be bullets here. Okay, that's 308. More of that. Okay. Nothing in there. Nothing in that. So I think, actually, no, there's caps there and there's five pre war money there. Okay. But that's about it. Also interesting that there's no key here. Funnily enough. Okay. What I'll do is I'll save and then start that quest. Yes. Paladin dance. Ready to move out? Ready. Follow me. Okay. He puts on his head thing. And away we go. Oh, now we have this bug. Let me through. Okay. So, yeah, our goal here with all these quests is to get, well, it is to find enough pre war money to, um, yeah, enough pre war money to. Um, get enough caps to buy the sprain prey and then once we've got that we want to have yeah, we can't or well, we, we don't want to try with those landmines um, yeah and then I'll basically save the rest of my caps not pick, and not pick up any 45 caliber bullets until we have the actual sprain prey. Once we have the sprain prey, the only thing left, you know, the only, the only thing left to buy is 45 caliber bullets, which we will be finding around the place as soon as we reach level six with scrounger one. Get him, dance. Lovely. Got some bottle caps. Nothing there we can take. More caps. Nothing there we can take. Caps. Uh, no caps there. No caps there. Okay. We better eat one of these guys before we head out. And since Dance can't be our companion. Ooh. 45. Lovely. Yeah, since he can't. God damn it. Yeah, so since Dance can't be our companion just yet, he doesn't actually care about what we do. 
Whereas normally, if he is your companion and running around where you are, um, he doesn't like it if you... Um, Yeah, he, he doesn't like it if you um, eat people. Okay, we got some dogs over here. Get them, Dance! For order, for glory! For all of the above! Do you get them? Oh. Okay, that guy is a bit... Okay. All right. Yeah, no, no goodies in those guys. I think it was just the one, the one guy that had caps. And I would presume that all the times you get the um, okay, nothing in there. Yeah, all, all the times you get um, dance. Keep on going. Yes, that's the way. That's the way. Okay. Then we can just head straight in. All right. So then there's another thing that we have to speak to him about. Um, I'll avoid picking up the military grade circuit boards and all that stuff. Um, you know, because we still have the blow flag land. So, I will, stuff like this, rather than risk getting it scrapped in settlements, I'll just. Okay. Yeah, so if I were to pick this up and save it for when I build the teleporter, um, that I, I then run the risk that by building something else, that item would get scrapped and that would invalidate the challenge. Oh, you're going to reconnoiter, huh? Um, and so, you know, this gives us a password. But, you know, as far as the quest goes, okay, yeah, so as far as the quest goes, that password is also a item, you know, a quest item, since as far as our perks go, we can't actually do that without the, um, okay, yeah, we, we couldn't complete the quest without that, oh shit, that was close, oh yeah, so, you know, that's one thing, but technically we could have gotten Hacker 1 before doing that, but... I also suppose that another... Oh. 
Okay, dance is going pretty well, so we should be fairly safe. Oh, cool. Which settlement are you working on? Okay, then he doesn't have anything on him. Okay, well actually, Dance, there's zero synth targets. Alright. And I don't think there's anything there we can take. So let's not worry about this tripwire. What's in the toolbox? Oh, no, nothing for us. Okay. Nothing there. Um, oh, okay. So which location, you know, which location are you currently building up? Outpost done. Is that a DLC location? Or is that is that just Okay that uh Okay yeah. I have I have to be sure not to pick up these magazines because those are not the items we can pick up. Uh, so I'll let Dance do that while I hack this computer. Um, Um, so for one thing, I don't have the capability of, um, you know, watching a stream while I do a stream. But for another, it's, it's generally not a good idea to talk about, um, your own stream while you, you know, while you're in another person's chat. Held pawn. Okay, yeah. I'll not worry about that. There's an, there's another terminal. Um, no worries. Just you know, just be sure you remember that for next time. Dance. 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 There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Plus the, uh, you know, Dance handles that that thing quite well. So so yeah, all we need to worry about is the terminal in this next area. Okay, nothing in there. So with int1, this terminal here is very difficult. 
right? Because let's say I go through and I try to find all the password removal thingies. There's one. Uh. And then, then we get tries reset. Um, the tries reset versus duds removed thing seems to be entirely random. But what I'll do is yeah, I'll close that window. So a while ago, oh, okay, on the other side of the lake. Yeah, because because there's like a dam there. Okay, so we'll open this. Uh, yeah, so a while ago I wrote a program to help me um, solve, uh, you know, hacking situations like this. Alright, so let's first count the passwords. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, oh, wait. It's like four and 16 passwords. Just got things around a bit. Uh, so there's cults, ages, neon. Sold need. Roll ones. Week told. Yeah, so for one thing, I'm on PS4, so it's a little harder to get mods. It's not impossible, but it's a little harder. And I mean, I guess an instant an instance hack mod would be something doable on the system restrictions. Uh, heal. But also, using a mod like that, I. I'd say it would sort of go against the spirit of the challenge. Slid ruin. Most cane. And ever. Okay. So the best password to select is sold. Likeness one. So at this point that my password doesn't actually work. So I'll, what I'll do now is I'll, um, Or basically do the yeah yeah and so like having being able to get any item in the game whatsoever would sort of make every everything trivial um S-O-L-D, so it's 
that. Uh, SOLD, 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 SOLD. Uh, S O L D S O L D S O L D S O L D S O L D. Okay. So by selecting the right password for our first guess, we got down from 16 passwords down to 6 which is great unfortunately I have to reload the program from scratch but let's do 4 6 cult need yell or slid most. Okay. Yeah, so here most of these have the same likeness. Cult, need, yell, and most all have a likeness of to but I'll, I'll pick heel I guess Oop. likeness zero okay so it's not yell it's not cult not need okay so now we have to go between poor, slid, and most. We have two guesses. <sighs> so we want to go either poor or most. So we'll do most, and then the, depending on the likeness we get here, yes, yeah, so we have likeness one, meaning the password is poor. Nice. And there we go. Uh, it, it's a program, the, the program that I use is one that I wrote myself. Um, I haven't yet like made it public because it doesn't actually work fully. So the way it's supposed to work is I enter the password length, the number of passwords, then I enter all the passwords, then it tells me which password Okay. Yeah, so it, it tells me which password to use and then when I enter the password it tells me um, you know, and then I enter what the, like, how, what the likeness is that it tells me about the password from that it eliminates all the duds from that piece of information and then the cycle continues until it gets me to the actual password. Um, so right, like right there, selecting the right first password eliminated most of them. Yeah, yeah, I wrote it myself. The trouble is, is that the program crashes when I go, you know, when I go to have it 
eliminate the passwords. And I haven't yet found out or figured out why that happens. But yeah, so if it wasn't for that program, the only option that I would have had available for that terminal would be, you know, the same option that I attempted with the previous terminal up in the previous area, where I guess the first three passwords, if I don't get it, I just leave and re-enter and do that over and over and over. But that takes quite a while to do. So we're better off being smart about things. Get in there, dance. Uh, right now I'm just using fists, but once I obtain about, so right now I have 250, around 200, 250 caps. Once I get to about 2000, I'll have enough to afford a gun called the Spray and Prey. Um, and the Spray and Prey is basically a submachine gun. Yeah, that's all. It's a submachine gun that has bullets that explode on impact, which is really, really good. Okay, it might be this guy with the. Nope. Purified water. Ah, uh, here we go. So this is another quest item. And then there'll be goodies in the box. Yeah, 17 pre war money. Okay. Yeah, that. I, I, personally, one of my favourite nicknames for the gun... Oh, and yes, I am playing survival. Uh, so I have to... <clears throat> I have to have some ability to eat. So for this challenge, you know, it's, it's corpses. Um, Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Okay. Well as a team. Agreed. That being said, first and foremost, I think you'll may it serve you well. So here we here he just shoves the now. We had a lot. Our op uh -huh. there's no doubt in my mind. The way I see it, you could spend uh -huh. four you could so Um We will agree to join for the t for the time being. Because we get some quests because of it. So we'll drop this gun. We'll drop the ammo. And so now everything else we can have. And yes, this item we can't actually drop. I'm mashing the drop button, but it doesn't let you do that. No worries. So level five is life giver one so the health that you get from the first two points aren't actually very useful because you, you only get plus 20 max health whereas we have like 180 so I guess this had a slight benefit however Level 3 causes a slow regeneration of 
health, which will be extremely crucial. Yeah, we did just level up, so, so we're fine. So now we want to head back to Diamond City. Yeah, see right there. We cannot drop keys. Um, keys and passwords, we just can't drop even if, if, even if we wanted to, but that'll be fine. Welcome back. Yeah, so not only do we have to eat in survival mode, got another body here that we can just chew on. Uh, we also have to, we have to sleep to keep our condition up. We can only save by sleeping. Uh, so we, we can't quick save or quick load. Uh, what else? Um, ammunition has weight, whereas in other difficulties it uh, is weightless. Yeah. Well. Perhaps, but I mean, so long as you're having fun with the game, that's the main thing that matters. Like for me, since I get the most fun out of the combat in the game, I also get the most fun if I crank the difficulty up. Good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Halen, Reese, it's time to welcome our newest recruit, the recon team. Hello. Shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Thanks. I won't let you down. So you decide. I got tired of wandering alone. Too bad, Reese. Uh -huh. Like it or not, and you, we're not so if you insist. Don't worry. Perfect. I only ask sure you fall in love now before I release you to from this moment. This is only a thank you. Thank you. Add Victorium in this year. He doesn't even add Victorium right. in our our round now. Paladin dance. If you ever feel like thinning your herd, there are plenty of feral stuff in the area. Lovely. Hey, Lynn. So this Wish we can see eye to eye. Reese always Reese please. If anything else. Uh-huh. Is there something between the two of you? That's none of your fluff. Just uh-huh. So? Ready. Great. Let me explain. Okay, so I have a list here. Good luck. Okay, so she is gonna send me to Ah, Corvago assembly plants. That's actually pretty lucky because at some point, potentially, we'll end up going there anyway as part of the first step quest. But let's... Um, drop a save here. And then we'll head down to Diamond City. Yeah, so... You know, be, before you go over to play survival mode, um, there's like a few tricks and a few things that you that would be good to know. So, for example, you know. 
you need to eat and drink so don't forget to do that if you find what's that oh that's art well they can have fun there it you know you can fill bottles with purified water and so that gives you an easy early game source of it um, that's a lot of pre war money but yeah, you, you can also um, you know another thing is uh, don't forget to sleep in beds because that's the only way you can save um, and it, it really helps if you memorize certain bed locations uh, yes and no so if you don't eat or drink <clears throat> you acquire uh, worse and worse debuffs so for example right now I'm tired so my AP refresh is reduced I'm parched so my intelligence is reduced um, and, and a reduction in intelligence makes hacking harder and it reduces your experience Um, yeah now if I go you know, if I didn't eat or drink at all no, well if, if, if I don't eat I eventually acquire a status effect called starving that reduces your excuse me better buy my big guns now because you bet your ass you're uh -huh. okay you got. Mm -hmm. okay let's at least see how oh, weapon let's see how much the gun costs 30 uh two, oh, nearly 3000 it's a little more than i thought but this this gun also comes with a lot of the highest mods I'll sell you the pre-war money so yeah you, you get a um, endurance debuff which massively reduces the amount of health you have uh, and you get peri periodic damage so you know every 30 seconds to a minute or so you'd be taking damage however this damage alone will not kill you because the game is programmed such that it'll never take away your last hit point it'll always leave you with one hit point Um, so if you never eat eventually you'll be at one hit points and one hit from anything will kill you so in that sense it does kill you but on its own it won't I just got here. and this, the same thing goes with thirst except you know severely dehydrated gives you a massive debuff in intelligence Lovely. So I get through here.
Yeah, and so yeah, so not not only is it a good idea to to memorize certain bed locations, but it's also uh, it's a really it's also a really good idea to get uh, settlements. Right, like primarily. Okay, so we'll just go here and sleep until daytime, or until the well rested. One of the two. Give me the bed, you fame. Never mind, I'll handle it myself. Oh, customer. Need a room? Yes. All right, here's your money. You were... Yeah, well. <clears throat> yeah, that is pretty cool. Um, I mean, as as much as that sort of breaks the the idea of having to sleep at specific spots, it also makes sense that you'd be able to lay a um, it makes sense you'd be able to lay a bed in anywhere. Let's go here and then turn in the blowfly gland to this person. Professor, I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the chrono. <coughs> Hi there. Are you here for today's Uh-huh. Sure. Sounds fun. Yes. Uh -huh. We all talk about ways mm -hmm. you have X-rays, space. Gamma ray? That's right. Sure. Now gamma part such. Yes, very interesting. That's what uh -huh. now it's time for the <coughs> Yes. Let's try the first. I get this isn't about Okay. I have something already. Not a boy. Who's my face? Here's a little something. So we get some money, we get almost enough XP. Alright. I mean perhaps you know, perhaps it'd be fun, but it also seems like Yeah, it seems like it it could also lead to trouble with regards to um like general stability of the game. Like just having a massive settlement in the middle of nowhere. Don't worry, I won't. Right. Thinking you happy to help out. Hardware. Only if you throw in some more money. A good Okay. I'm on it. Much obliged. Okay. Yeah, we don't have a, another level. It's weird that the game is sort of telling me that I have a, another perk point. Um, hmm. Still, uh, avoiding... Okay. Don't drown. Okay. So to to do this quest, uh, let's actually go up here. Data. Let's do that. Okay. We have to put these items 
into our inventory to consider it, you know, to consider them gone from the pool area, from the water. However, beyond this, we can't actually um, use these items. Like, you could consider them to be like a quest reward, but I'll turn in the quest. There we go. So I'll drop some of junk. Yeah, so this, 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 this. Okay. That can go in there too. There you go, buddy. All right. So that's, we've got that quest. We've got this, which we can turn in. Something wrong. Another strain coming in from the rain. Uh -huh. I know you must be busy. You don't. Don't worry, I can help. Mm -hmm. There's an old ball. Uh -huh. Hey, I'd love to help. But Money. Huh. Oh, that actually worked. I'll find it. You have my word. Thank you. Sure. Nick should be. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have. Uh, we can't pick that up. Thirty-eight. Um. Okay. There's nothing here we can pick up. Okay. Yeah. I. I think I already have that achievement. To my knowledge, the only achievements I don't have is the one we have to get a thing to the thing. But let's punch this guy, uh, Kyle. And he explodes. And we get a single bottle cap. Someone in this town did more than just stand and gawk. Why, yes. Now, excuse me while I move his eyeball over here. And then eat. <laughs> Holy shit, you just ate him. Oh my god, you just ate him. No. Uh, there's a quest we can do in public occurrences as well. So let's do that. Piper! So we're just going to mash through this, and don't lose hope. No, you stay there, Piper. Uh, Can't take any of these items. Although I guess I could. You just say the word. Okay, nothing there we can take. This purified water we can. And that's about it. So yeah, there's also like a quest. That you can do with a Nuka Cola. If you give it to, if you take it and give it to Abbott, you complete like a very small quest. Hey, I think 
those Bobrov brothers are looking for you. So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a new Coca Cola. Sheffield. Yes, there's like a mini quest there. Well, sometimes he glitches out. I'll just drop it right about there. So that when he decides to behave properly, I'll, you know, I'll just do all that. I'll just give him the thing. Looking for work. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> so I'll drop a save at the bed and then we'll do those two quests. Um, you can also get a quest from the baseball man. Oh, this guy. Yeah, totally. It's not that bad. He makes uh -huh. it's true. Someone uh -huh. I don't think I guess that'll be it would be quick. Oh, right. I didn't Right. We're all just totally having a laugh. Well Travis and so he's this is not good. Well come you uh huh. Okay. Let's at least start this. Um this is another quest where we don't need any combat ability to complete. Quick for Dean. Quickly for Dean. Walk, walk, walk. I'm happy to help. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so yes. I haven't met a man I could. Excellent. I want it. I want you. I'm on board. On board. Why not? I have the control. Then you. Uh huh. Simple. I have everything. Okay. So we need to meet Travis after 6 p.m. Let's just drop one hour in here. And then by the time that we're done with all, with all the outside stuff, we should be able to do the thing just fine. Alright, oh, I forgot I leveled up a while ago. Uh, my day's been fine. You know, I woke up at like 9 and... Well, 9, between 9 and 10 and just started streaming as soon as I could. Uh, what, what about you, Xbox Gamer? Uh, we also want to get... Scrounger. That's level six. Yep. And so Scrounger will get us. Um, oh, we can get a speech check off this guy. You're that traitor. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to lock. Uh, anyway. Oh well. He didn't buy it. Oh, let's go to here. Okay, let's... Who does she now? You look like a weird settler. 
Almost like you're secretly a raider. Ooh. Okay, off we go. Straight away. So if we sneak in from the back, we can avoid all the combat. Uh, it's actually about 12.30 p.m. Like it's probably 2 p.m. for most Australians, but since, since I'm in the West, yeah, so there's some caps, some 45, and that's it. So that was actually a pretty lucky find. So we'll do that, we'll make the green paints, <clears throat> and, then, and then we'll go down here, because I think there's some goodies in one of these rooms. Let's see. I think this is the room? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's head back. Oh, 10.30pm. So, that would put you... That would put you like, around in the United States area. Wouldn't it? Yeah, that's 10 hours ahead. So probably the west coast. Can't unlock that. No bobby pins. No bobby pins. Wait. Oh, there's the exit. And then we're out. Ah, oh, mountain time. Well, that was close. Probably like one or two time zones away. Uh, and so, Solomon's quest to get a mutated fern. If you're just going based on compass markers, it'd take you all the way over to here where there's a lot of those mutated ferns growing. However, there's also one right here. So that's all we need. Gonna be some red roaches. But they can't do much damage to us. Are they still following us? It's like, oh no, there's red roaches! No! Okay. So it's 4.20 p.m. If we do a full save, because you know, right now we don't have well rested. But if we do a full save, it should make us well rested and give us, um, give us enough time to 
do the whole Travis thing. So where we're at well rested, we're no more thirsty than we normally are. And these guys head in. Lovely. Yeah, I am. I'm the vault dweller from the paper. Wait, Travis. You ready to punch some bull? Hey there, pal. I'm here to give you I actually normally switch it up a lot. Um, let's do something. Yeah, so I think I th I think the the ending that I tend to default to is either the railroad ending or the um or the brotherhood ending because they involve the most quests don't worry i got your back and you know it's like the most meat in a in a challenge yeah so my my preference is typically the railroad or the brotherhood of steel um I side with the Institute the least because the final big quest in the Institute quest line, Airship Down, is basically one of the hardest quests in the game to do. Uh, so, so far I have done the Institute ending about three times, maybe four, but probably just three. Whereas other endings I've done upwards of like five or six times. No, you won't! Get him, Travis. There we go. We did it. We did it. Travis. This is such a bad idea. Why are you doing this? Get to your position, man. Hey, Travis. This is such a bad idea. He's like a little weirded out. There you go. He has to stand like right here before he does his dialogue. I knew you had it in you. Okay. Hey, Vadim. For next part of full group. Sure. Bring it on. Good attitude. You have now. Uh -huh. If someone. Okay. I have a chat with her. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just do whatever. Yeah. Just don't throw up all over. So I'd say that. Actually. Yeah, I'm well rested. Before talking to her, I'll turn in all the other quests. And then, and then do all that. So let's be fully hydrated. We have four water left, which isn't 
A lot. Ah. Solomon should still be around here though. In one of these places. Sometimes he's around here. Okay, sometimes he's in Dugout Inn. Yeah. I mean... Hmm. Well, I guess he's nowhere to be seen. Maybe he went to sleep, I guess, I suppose. Yeah, so I mean, in a casual playthrough, it, it can be annoying having Preston repeatedly give you tons of quests. But... Okay, there's Sheffield. Got three people on a mattress. Okay. Found the paint. Find that paint. Wasn't easy, but I found yeah. Okay, we'll paint the wall. Working hard. That's a good shape. Happy to help. It's been an honor. It's nice to There's your There we go. 200. Lovely. And we get to level level 7. Where you get Lone Wanderer. Yeah, so what's his name can't be seen anywhere, so we may as well drop another save somewhere. Back at the back of the place. But there's actually there's actually a glitch you can do with Preston that, especially in survival mode, makes him like a vastly more powerful character. And if you do the quest taking independence, fatigue, that'll be fine. We are also ravenous, so that's just. Charisma, endurance, and luck that we have less of, but that's fine. Tell me if you need a room. Um, yeah, so what you do is you start the taking independence quest, and then sometime through, there's a point where Preston just follows you around everywhere, and so if you leave the castle, then he will follow you all the way across the Commonwealth and hey, you find any mutated burn for me? Yep, found one. Okay. So he gave us those items as a quest reward. So you have to drop the buff out, the jet and the psycho. Alright. Now, we want to do one last save, but this save doesn't actually matter whether or not I am... Um... Yeah, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter whether or not I'm well rested because... Oh, I have to buy a bed. Take some caps, boy. You fiend. You look tired. Need a room? Fine. Here's your caps. Room two. So essentially to pass the quest, you know, the Travis quest, Confidence Man. You have to do a speech check. 
Now this might be one of the few speech checks where you always pass, you always pass it no matter what. As far as I know, there's two of them. There's like two of those quests in the game. And two, two of those speech checks in the game. Um, there's one when you first talk to, to Godsworth. And then there's one when you... Um, when you enter the, the library. No worries. Miss? Travis. Actually. Travis? Did he? Uh -huh. I heard about. Uh huh. He was. You think? I mean, I doubt. Persuade. Travis. Okay, I know. There you go. Yeah. So. I don't think I have ever failed that quest. And I mean, failed that speech check. So maybe that's another speech check where you always pass it no matter what. Take it easy. I'll bring him back. I'll bring him back. So another thing is here you don't actually have to talk to Travis. Alright, like you can just um Yeah, you, you can just head straight to the place. You know, head straight to Beantown Brewery to rescue Travis. I mean, to, no, re to rescue Vadim. That's the guy. Um, also, frequently in that area, what I would do at some point is pickpocket a gun onto Travis's inventory. But since there's only one gun that I can use and I kind of need to have that gun. Whatever he has, he will have to use on his own. Here's another box. Looking for Diamond City. Two three oh eight, which isn't useful to us. Okay. Looks like they actually beat the super mutants. And uh, back at full health. Lovely. Yeah, there's just no super mutants up there. Well, don't mind if I do, I'm just gonna head up here, get some free items. Uh, but there's mainly just a few bottle caps up here. Yeah, one bottle cap. Just one. Nothing around here. Oh, we got. 308. Ah, 45. Lovely. Seems like we're starting to get drops from the scrounger perk. Let's head up here. And there's a bowl cap there. More caps. Lovely, okay. Let's 
let's bet it. Just drop down here and head onwards. Let's head towards Bantam Brewery. And once there, when Travis kills the first raider, who fortunately for us is just a, um, a raider that for some reason doesn't spawn with any weapons, once he's done that, we can drop a save, drop a save there and give him a good chewing on. Up we go. Um, no, not not really. That's that's not the way that I'm doing the one of each challenge. The way this works is that for every type of item. I'm only ever allowed one type. So I'm only allowed to have one weapon ever, one apparel ever, one aid ever, and so on. Uh, and I consider weapons that differ based on, say, different mods to be different weapons. So, for example, the you know the spray and pray and a regular submachine gun are both submachine guns, but just because the one weapon is a spray and pray doesn't mean that I can run around picking up submachine guns. Um, otherwise, you know if if I were only allowed one of like any item under the slots. Then yeah, I then I could do that. I talked to your uh -huh. I had a hunch I might find it here. Oh, sure. Yeah. Well, I'm, and if any of this is just stay calm. Okay. Let's see if we can do a sneak attack. Ooh, that was lucky. And... Back to full health. Let's drop a save. Okay. So yeah, if... If, as you suggested, I were to do a challenge where... You know, where I could only have one, like only one of any particular type of item. I like I'd only be allowed to have one gun or one melee weapon, which is fine. One apparel, which is fine. One aid item, which is sort of fine, but it means that most aid items become entirely useless. One miss, which means that the whole restriction of no bubble heads and magazines doesn't really matter at all. One junk, which makes collecting junk tedious. And one ammo, which makes guns, you know, useless as guns. Get 
Get him, Travis. But we, we want to wait over here in case Travis gets Molotov because even at full health, a Molotov would be highly dangerous to us. There's Bull. So Travis is actually doing pretty well at this. Oh. That almost looks like Travis was picked up a Molotov. No, he was on fire. So I don't think he did. Shoot him, Travis. But yeah, we want to stand back as much as... Shit. Okay. That was... A near miss, and it nearly killed us. Actually, we can do this. Okay. Let's do five hours and hope that it gives us some health back. Yeah, we got a lot of health back. Okay. That's good. Travis, what are you doing? Shoot him. Gotcha. Okay, get up, Travis. We got more guys to do. Which sounds very weird. This way, Travis. So I think there's a few guys left. So there's Gouger, there's Raider Scum, and then Tower Tom is in there. Okay, Travis, get them. Hello. Now get them, Travis. So you got the Raider Scum a bit. Oh. Okay. So Gouger is barely damaged. But I, th yeah, it looks like Travis got the other guy, which is good. Oh, he's going for it. Get him. No. If I go over here. Oh. So caps we wanted. So I think Gouger was the guy with the... Oh no, the scum is still alive. See over there somewhere? I don't know. Oh. Yeah, he's down there. Oh, get him, Travis. Okay, he got that guy. Then there's Tower Tom and Gouger who just died. Okay. Now I'll drop another save and then see if I can get a sneak attack on the um, on Tower Tom. So 
So where's Travis? Okay. Yeah, where is Travis? Why are you down there? Get back up here, Travis. Oh, oh, oh. So one hit from him would do a lot of damage to us. Travis. There we go. Get him, Travis. Get him. Shoot. Shoot your gun. There you go. So I'll wait over here while Travis kills the Tower Tom guy. Oh, you got him good. Oh, that's... Okay. There we go. Whew. Forty-five caps. Nothing there we can take. Nothing there we can do unless I can hack it from this terminal, but that's locked. Excuse me. Thank you. I didn't know if anyone right. uh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's remove the buff out and the jet. Okay. Surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, the beam. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get broke into this? I, I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. <laughs> you are full of surprises, my friend. There we go. Hey. <laughs> What a day, huh? Yeah. Hey, listen. Uh -huh. This has been... Uh -huh. You came through it all pretty... Thanks. Mm -hmm. After all this. Like, that's nothing. Anyway. Yay! That's just the pencil. Okay. And we... Oh, so close. Now there's just this guy over here, wherever his body is. Ah, over here, right here. And a bottle cap. Yeah, he was the Molotov guy. Um, there's... Ah, just, just a toolbox. And then if we head upstairs to up here... Actually, I think there's... Yeah, there's more raiders there, so we'll let them stay alive. Okay, drop an hour. And how are we doing for caps? 1300, so we are about halfway there. We just need to accumulate some more caps in order to um, in order to complete in order, in order to get the gun, basically. So there's a couple of quests we could do. Yeah, that's not good. Hmm. Yeah, 
I'll, I'll head to the Boston police station so that I can drop a save there. Okay, there's just a regular dude. Raider's notes. Well, Raider, I'm not after your notes, I'm just after your bones. Okay. So this isn't it for the quests that we can do with minimal combat ability. So for example, we could probably manage to do the um, Cabot quest, like the, the first and second one. Second one is easy, but the first one requires luring a Deathclaw to those raiders that we have to kill. And then uh, so they don't have a um, bed, but that, that's fine. We have so much carry capacity compared to the items that we need to carry that we can lose a lot of strength before we have to worry about any strength debuffs. So I'll drop three hours here. And that's going to be it for the stream. Oh, I wake still overtired. Oh, uh, well. So yeah. Tomorrow's stream we could do... Well, I guess we could do this. You know, the ghouls there aren't that hard to kill. There's the Nuka Cola thing, but that doesn't give us caps, only experience. Okay. So yeah, there's... Um... Pretty much, I stream on weekdays, uh, Monday to Friday, uh, between between about 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. at the time zone GMT plus eight. Um, however, I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow because uh, over here that's a public holiday and I'm not able to stream on those days. But yeah, it, 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 yeah. Great, so yeah, uh, let's see if there's anybody to host. Yeah, sure. Um, Anzac Day, it's basically, the idea behind it is that it's a day of remembrance about the Australian and New Zealander soldiers that died in World War Two and World War One. But yeah, so let's drop a host on on a streamer called the Raging Terror. Uh, right now he is playing Dead by Daylight, but uh, I, I first came across his channel when he was doing a challenge where he was completing the whole game without using any of these perks, any of these perks over here, and without dying. But yeah, so that, that's, that's all there is for that. I'll drop the host, and I will see you on Thursday.
Yeah, today's Tuesday, so I'll see you on Thursday. So yeah, I'll see you then.